Coming up on the Glow Sports Corner, we look back at Jacob Gerber and his performance to qualify for the national championship. Nick Yossi joins us in the studio to talk about the first men's volleyball season. And Jason Grooms looks back on his performance against Huntington University to help the Maple Leafs win it all. All that plus more here on the Glow Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Glow Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton, and the Goshen College track and field team has had four members qualify for the national championship. Well, Jacob Gerber was added to the list after his last performance at Taylor University. Tanner Kemp with, with more on the story. On Saturday, April 6th, the Goshen College track and field team competed in the George Glass Invitational at Taylor University. And for Jacob Gerber, sophomore thrower for the team, he had a big mindset going into the meet with his older brother from Trine competing as well. Uh, so my mindset going into the meet was I knew we'd put a lot of hard work in and I knew my brother was going to be there. And so I, I looked at the standings, we were ranked one and two, and so I knew I had to chase him. My mindset was just go after him, see what you can do today. It was a beautiful day, send it. Gerber's third throw of the day not only put him in the final round of the hammer throw, but it officially qualified him for the NAIA Outdoor National Championship this upcoming May. Gerber had this reaction when he released the hammer. Uh, it was so relieving when I finally hit it. I, my throw right before that, I threw 15 centimeters under it. So when I released it, I knew it was good. I screamed and I just waited for it. So it was a great feeling because I knew I'd hit it. He would end up finishing second place in the hammer throw behind his brother. But Gerber comments on how appreciative he is for Nick Banke, head coach for the GC Throws team, and other members for showing that hard work goes a long way. Oh man, it's great. I love working under Nick and the squad we have is awesome. We work hard whenever we can, well, all the time. It's demanded. Um, yeah, it's been great. It's really made me focus up and it's showed me that talent isn't everything. It's hard work that gets you where you want to be. Gerber will still have three more meets before the national championship to continue to improve and get ready for that day. He gives what his mindset is going to be throughout the rest of the regular season. So for the rest of the regular season, I'm, I'm not really peaking until the national competition, but I'm going to try and just go for it. I've got Little State and then Grace and Conference, so I've got three meets to absolutely work as hard as possible, fix my technique, and just go for it. My mindset is back to work. While Gerber may not have achieved his goal of defeating his brother at Taylor, he accomplished his goal that he will remember in his college career. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is Tanner Camp. Good luck to Jacob for the rest of the season and the national championship in May. When we return, William Troyer will be back with Nick Yussi to talk about the men's volleyball season. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm William Troyer, and I'm with sophomore Nick Yetzi, libero of the men's volleyball team. Nick, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Will. The first official season for the volleyball team is over, so what are your thoughts on the season? You know, it was a great season overall, uh, all things considered. We had a lot of injuries, um, a lot of young talent, so um, it was really tough kind of progressing without a, a ton of experience in uh, team chemistry, but it was great to see how we, how we came, away and came away with a few match wins and, and really competed with some of the top teams in the conference and in the nation as well. Yeah, you had a pretty solid season even facing injury. You had 2.7 digs per uh, match, uh, and you ranked top 15 in the country in that category. So how do you feel about your overall performance this year? Yeah, no, I feel, I feel great. Um, it's, if anything, it's just something to take into next season, um, carry over. Uh, it gives me confidence headed forward in the offseason as well. Um, and yeah, I just felt, I felt myself progress um, with great coaching and great teammates as well. Um, under the direction of JD, he's a great coach, um, great develop of young talent. And so... 
uh, yeah, it was great, great to see myself improve and, and definitely gives me confidence heading forward. Yeah, so both you and your head coach, Jim Doherty, were named to the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference Champions of Character team. How did that feel to receive that award? Yeah, it was, it was great. Um, I really feel like they could have gone to a lot of our, the players on our team, which is great. Um, you know, having a lot of young players, uh, you don't have a ton of egos on the team, and so it's great to see how we all play well together. Um, and it was great hearing about JD. Um, he's a great coach, um, and he, like I said, develops young talent really well. Um, and so I, I, he was really deserving of that honor. And, and yeah, and so going forward, um, looking to build on that as well and, and keep being a high, high character teammate and, and just being good to my team and, uh, and having that carry forward into next season. Yeah, so your first season's in the books. What are your plans for this off season to get better for next year? Yeah, uh, really just get more time together as a team. Um, like I said, we really have a lot of freshmen and sophomores, so we're really, really young, and with that, we don't have a lot of chemistry together. And so getting in the gym, um, off season, getting stronger as a team, and then, and then also just playing together and, and building some of the chemistry that we were lacking coming into this season. So, um, yeah, over the summer, um, just looking to get court time with everybody. Thanks again for coming down, Nick. Thanks, Will. When we return, I will be with Jason Grooms to look at the baseball team's big win against Huntington. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. I'm now joined with Jason Groom, sophomore outfielder for the Goshen College baseball team. Jason, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. The team had a big win on Saturday, beating Huntington 3-2, to two, and you had two big plays in the seventh inning. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, well, the first play was me robbing the home run in right field. The uh, play initially started out with a left-handed hit, or yeah, left-handed batter coming up, so and the wind was blown out to right, so I knew as soon as that ball was hit, I'd have to get back to the fence. So as soon as I saw that, basically just find the fence and then make a play. And then in terms of the other play, I mean, just go up there and try and do something at the plate with two outs and got a pitch that I could handle and took it deep. Yeah, so in your short career uh, at Goshen, is that your f number one memory that you've made so far? <laughs> yeah, so far I'd say so. I mean, short career like you said, but I mean, so far it's been pretty good and it was a great highlight start. Finally, the baseball team is currently sitting in eighth place in the conference with five games left. Uh, what do you think the team needs to do to guarantee a spot and uh, continue your run into the playoffs? Uh, well, obviously our current goal is just to win games, and hopefully if we do that, we'll get a spot. I mean, it's getting towards the end of the season, so we just basically got to win out and hope for the best. Jason, thank you again, and good luck the rest of the season. When we come back, Benjamin will look at the Leafy Awards ceremony and what happened over the weekend. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. I work for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago. It's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. Over the weekend, the Goshen College Athletic Department hosted its first ever Leafy Award. Like the ESPYs, it was a time where all of the sports teams got together and recognized many of the athletes. Two awards that were given were the John Ego and Ruth Gunn Award for Excellence. Spencer Ashman and Caitlin O'Neill took home these awards. Now it's time to look at the upcoming schedule for the Maple Leafs. The baseball and softball teams will be in action on Tuesday. Baseball is Spring Arbor for a doubleheader starting at 1 o'clock p.m. And softball at home against Mount Vernon, which starts at 3 o'clock p.m. And lots of Maple Leaf action this Friday as the softball team will be at home for a conference doubleheader, which begins at 3 o'clock p.m. And the baseball team will be taking on Mount Vernon for a 4 o'clock start time. 
Also, the women's tennis team will be at home against Grace Christian University starting at 4 o'clock p.m. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check out our website at globeradio.org and subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe. We'll see you next time here on the Globe Sports Corner. Thank you.